Hello friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional, coming to you from a different spot. I can't be outside because the generator's running. I can't be back in my normal spot because it's hot back there, and we've got a small air conditioner running out here. And of course, this means we don't have electricity yet. So ever since Hurricane Milton, we don't have electricity. And I know some Amish people who would make fun of me for this, but I can tell you it's hard living for seven days without electricity. Fortunately, we have this generator from my sister. Thank you, Rebecca, for that. Uh, but it doesn't make up for not having the electricity. And it's easy to get frustrated. You know, I started this sermon on the fruit of the Spirit <clears throat> three weeks ago. And we did love, and then we did joy. And then right after the hurricane, I preached on peace, which... I think God had it planned that way because we all need peace at a time like this. And now this Sunday, it's going to be about patience. And I think maybe God's going to have me be the one that gets electricity last so that I have patience. Um, but you know, the, the thing is, if you say, praise God, I got my electricity, I rejoice with you. I am not jealous I am so happy to hear it. For one thing, I love you guys and want you to be blessed and, and hate to think other people are going through this as well. So I'm glad that you're getting it. And maybe if they finished up with your electrical lines, all of your workers can come over and work on our electrical lines. But I was working on the yard last night. It was getting dark and people were walking by and some guy just cursed and he turned to me and said, what did we do to deserve being on this little block? that doesn't have any electricity, uh, as if we've done something wrong and that caused that. And of course, you can do everything right in life and still have things go wrong. I know a lot of you are suffering through different things, some of them having nothing to do with the weather. Maybe it's an illness, maybe it's a financial thing, and, and you're just going through really, really tough times. And you might want to just say, why me? But James 1, starting with verse 2, says this, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. This goes against all of popular Christianity today which says that God just wants to make you happy and he's going to do all sorts of good things for you. If something bad is happening, it's because you're being punished for doing something wrong or because you don't have enough faith to get through it. James says no. There are times that God gives you trials of many kinds because it's good for you. Faith says not only... God, thank you in the middle of the storm because I know you're going to watch over me in the storm and we'll be and it'll be over someday. But thank you for the storm because you're going to teach me something in this storm. God, you're doing something right now. And so I will accept from your hand this trial. <clears throat> if we talk about one of the fruits of the spirit being patience, this time is patience waiting on the Lord. I don't know when I'm going to get electricity. That's probably a minor thing. I don't know exactly how we're going to recover everything at the church. God's going to work that out too. I know it's going to work out in the end. But I know in the meantime, whatever we're going through, there's a purpose to that too. The testing of your faith produces perseverance. And when perseverance finishes its work... You will be mature and complete, not lacking anything. This is what we need to grow strong. I love the saying that says, don't pray for an easy life. Pray to be a strong person. I've had a pretty easy life. Little things like this, at least they teach me, yeah, I can get through this with God's help. It's going to be okay. I don't know if you remember the experiment. It wasn't really a scientific experiment. It was pseudoscience where they built this big glass greenhouse in the middle of the desert. 
in, in the Western U.S. And they called it Biosphere, <clears throat> Biosphere 2. And the idea was, let's hermetically seal these humans in with all these plants and everything and see how people can survive without connection to the rest of the biosphere in this world. And so they had trees growing in this greenhouse and they had all sorts of things growing. And then people went in to live in there for, I think it was a year. The interesting thing was a lot of the trees broke and fell over. And they thought, what's going on here? There's no hurricane inside Biosphere 2. Why would trees break? And they found out that trees actually get stronger when the wind rocks them. When the wind makes them bend, the fibers break and then they heal and they get stronger. There's a certain protein that grows, that only grows when the trees are stressed. If God's stressing you now, it's not to make you hurt. It's to make you stronger. I look at my kids and grandkids and I always want them to have it easy and good things. But deep down I know that if they did, they, they would not be the strong person I want them to be. So let's not give up on God just because hard things are happening right now. Let's trust him through it and learn what he wants us to learn in the middle of it. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this trial and for the many trials that people are going through right now. I thank you, Father, that you are greater than all of our problems. But I also thank you for the problems and what you can make out of them, what you can do about us as we go through them. In the name of Jesus, we pray this. Amen. God bless you all. I love you. And we will see you tomorrow night, Lord willing, with the Bible study. Take care. God bless.